Gosh guy comes like right now. Really? Really. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today is my July favorite. So I have some products I want to share with you today. I decided I would just post this a little bit earlier than usual because honestly, I don't plan on trying any new products and these products have just been like blowing me away. First off, let me talk about what I opened earlier. My Dasani Black Cherry Sparkling Water. This has been saving me. You guys, unfortunately, I am someone where I love carbonation and I love ginger ale soda and also Sprite. Obviously, soda isn't the best thing for you, but in order to like capture those cravings and satisfy them, the black cherry has been my favorite. I have tried the pineapple one and I do love that one as well, but for some reason, this one just just hits the spot and I also have tried strawberry guava. Those are probably like my favorite ones. I used to drink La Croix, um, La Croix uh, grapefruit or whatever but I got over that one but the black cherry one is so good. It's like one of my favorites. So now let's get into my favorites. Let's talk about this lip color because this lip color has been my absolute favorite and I feel like this is gonna be the lipstick that I'm going to wear for my wedding. I was gonna go for a more like nudie type of shade and yes, they say like liquid lipstick so it lasts longer but honestly, I love this shade so much. MAC was really nice and sent out a bunch of packages to a bunch of different people. I was very lucky, lucky and fortunate to receive one of the packages and they sent out a bunch of lip products and a ton of their lip products and one of their lipsticks that I've never tried or heard of was M-E-R-H-R. Uh, Mer? Mer? <laughs> this is what it looks like. It is one of my faves. I wore it for the engagement shoot and it looks so nice. And the reason why I feel like I don't want to wear too much of a nude is I don't want to look too washed out. I think this shade really complements my skin and something about it gives more definition for the lips. I notice sometimes when you do take pictures or say like you're on a stage performing, you're usually wearing like brighter lipstick just so you can really see your lips. Uh, when you just look too washed out, it's like you're like this. And that's not how I want to look like on my wedding day. I do have a get ready with me engagement photo shoot that's going to be coming up. I finally got the footage that the photographer just happened to take some bonus footage because I told him how I was doing a YouTube video and he was so sweet and gave us some clips of us like on the beach and during our whole like photo shoots. I was like super, super excited because he really did not have to do that. So moving on to liquid lipsticks, the two I've been wearing nonstop and which last within me eating and all that good stuff because a lot of liquid lipsticks, yeah, they look beautiful, but then some of them start getting crusty and crumb off. And when I eat, that's when it looks like really, really bad. But the two I've been loving are from Drawer Cosmetics. Their Hydra Mats are really good, like really phenomenal formula. Now the two I've been wearing are Nude and Bear It All. These two are my go-to. They're obviously more nudey pink because that's what I love. So this one is nude, peachy cheap nude, and then this one is bare at all. So I do have a code right now and it's only good for July and I haven't promoted it at all. They like told me, hey, do you want your own personal code and you can share it with your subscribers, subscribers just for this month? And I was like, sure. And then I never told you guys. I think I told you like, once on my on an Instagram post and that was it. Sorry, I know, sorry. I, I suck at it, I suck, I know, I know. But right now I think it's, uh, Lizzie for two. I don't know. I'll put it right here, but you can get two Hydra mats, any of the shades, any of the colors. They have so many different freaking shades, but those are like my two everyday ones. You can get two for only $20 and I believe it's free shipping. So that's really good. Sorry, you guys. I didn't tell you the code. It's like how many days left in July? <laughs> I suck. Moving on to my nail color. This is probably one of my like favorite, favorite shades ever. And it reminds me of like a pastel lilac. I think it is so, ignore that chip. Baguette me not, baguette, like a French baguette, like bread. I've been looking for like that perfect lilac because some shades of lilac make my hands and feet look almost dirty and ashy. And this one is just bright enough and I think it's super girly and cute and it matches my dress and it just, it just makes me so happy. But this is honestly probably like my, one of my top, I would say five shades that I would love. This one is so pretty on the fingers and toes. One thing that I just realized is I have a neighbor from across the street and he's just like randomly looking. I'm gonna film him so you guys know I don't lie to you guys. Like for some reason whenever I film everybody just comes out. So yeah, so I have all these neighbors and that one right there keeps looking up. 
Of course, one I want to show you guys is not looking. So for foundation, and I'm currently wearing it right now, and I did a whole whooper womp on that, so go check it out, is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I'm currently wearing Soft Honey, I believe. I think that, yeah, Soft Honey. And this does oxidize, just keep that in mind. It is a little bit too dark for me, but I don't really mind. I can kind of work with it. I like blended it down to my neck, obviously, and then I kind of powdered my chest a little, just so it doesn't look too off, but this lasts all day long, and you just have to watch that video because I absolutely love this foundation. That's all I'm gonna say about it because you can go check it out if you haven't seen it. But if you have seen it, whoop whoop. Now, honestly, I really didn't think I was gonna truly love this product when I first got it, and then after I completely fell in love with it, and I like it because it's like a one and done. You set it and forget it. You just put it on, and you. I don't want to say kill a bird to wait. What kill two kill a bird two stone two stones? What kill kill two birds with one stone? I got it. Sorry, I like obviously never use that phrase, but this is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Primer? Riser. Primer plus moisturizer. So I use this in a get ready. If you haven't watched that, you guys should go check it out. I talk about YouTube, relationships, and dealing with uh, my life and the wedding talk and gossip, drama, blah, 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 all that stuff. But I did use that in this video and I love this stuff. So even though I have larger pores right here, this is not gonna fill that in, but I love the way the fills and I love how it just preps my skin. So like I said, it's a one and done, it's perfect. It's a really great product if you're more like on a rush or you're a more minimalist person and you don't wanna use too many different products, this is bomb. It just really hydrates the skin enough. If you have super, super dry skin, this is not gonna hydrate enough. But if you have like normal to combo skin, this is gonna be bomb. Also in that video, I did the get ready and I used the Naked Heat and I actually really liked the palette. At first I wasn't too sure because a lot of the tones just seemed like, I don't know, like I know personally I wouldn't utilize all of them, but I actually have. And I think this is a perfect palette if you want transition colors or really like warm toned creases and outer corners that are blown out that are warm. I think this is the perfect palette for that. The shades are really, really beautiful. I'm wearing the palette today and I've been wearing it a lot in combination with my other favorite palette for this month, which is the Jaclyn Hill, which so many people hate. You guys already talked about this palette, already heard blah, blah, blah opinions and all of that, which is fine, but I gave my opinion and I've been loving this palette. I think it's super pigmented and I absolutely love it. So I've been using these two palettes and I really, really have been enjoying them together. These are the only two palettes I've been using all month long period okay so you guys know i'm a big time fan of the laura mercier translucent setting powder who is in i feel like so many people i know there's probably someone saying i don't like it that's fine but i'm saying like usually on youtube like so many freaking people use it and it's because it's such a good product and it works out well for a lot of people but there has been something that has replaced it and i I don't know, it's almost like I have Holy Grail products, but every now and then it's so fun to find something that's going to replace that Holy Grail because if I had to pick one setting powder, like period, it would be Laura Mercier, no matter what for my under eyes especially. I do like it all over the face. I have been using it like that as well, but skirt skirt. I have been obsessed with the new Too Faced Born This Rate born this right born this way ethereal setting powder this stuff is like magic it is so good where i feel like it's even more finely milled than the laura mercier i feel like once you set it it just it literally just sets immediately even when i bake i'm not one to bake and i try to bake with it and once i swiped it away it looked bomb it doesn't dry out my under eyes it's like i have like a nice glow underneath is a really beautiful like mattifying glow if that makes sense um, I currently am wearing it underneath my eyes and it makes my under eyes look super super smooth I have used this all over the face just to try it out it does look good as well I'm just obsessed with it also I think the packaging is really nice it reminds me of the cover FX they have like a little flap right here and then it opens up there is a heart right here and then all I do is just pour the product into here has good control not too much comes out which I love and it hasn't been messy at all and it honestly has replaced my Laura Mercier like <clears throat> I have been using this obviously but once I got this one a couple weeks ago I've just been non-stop this is all I want to use so if you guys have tried it out let me know how you feel about it if you heard other reviews I have seen only one review which was Jackie Ina and I freaking love that chick so I definitely agree with her it is freaking bomb and amazing 
so obsessed. The blush I've been using almost all month and I've just been reaching for it so much and I can't stop is what I'm currently wearing right now and it is Milani's Luminoso. Went back to this oldie but goodie. It is a freaking bomb blush. It's super cheap. I believe they're only like $4.99 I believe. I believe, I believe I can fly with my wings. And this is what it looks like. It just gives you like that really beautiful glow. It's I just love how buildable it is. Like I said, I am currently wearing it. I love like those burnt blushes and this gives you that effect when you do layer it on or you can give yourself like a nice flush. It's just a phenomenal blush formula. I love the way it looks. It gives enough glow. It's not too much. Favorite blush hands down. Um, I've been using it all month. I've been trying to use other blush products, but this just looks good with so many different makeup looks. Now the last makeup product, cause then I'm gonna go into some skincare, is the Makeup Geek Bronzer and Tawny. Now I feel like nobody's really been talking about Makeup Geek. I feel like they were all up in the mix and I did see a comment saying, Lizzie, what do you think about Makeup Geek? Do you think they're kind of like getting out of like the loop or what do you, how do you feel? And I feel like what you said. I feel like Makeup Geek has kind of has like, lost its little flair. I mean, I definitely still love their eyeshadows. I guess the products that they're just putting out aren't really wowing people. Like I said, I did use the nude palette for my engagement shoot just to kind of use it because they were super neutral colors. I just find the palette is just too overpriced. I believe it was like $50 for the nine little tiny shades and I don't think it's really worth it because the palette is pretty basic and you might as well just buy the single shadows yourself and make your own palette like, you know, from Makeup Geek Shadows or from MAC or whoever has a whole system. But yeah, it didn't really wow me. As for their lip products, I was pretty disappointed in like their, I forgot, like they're like some gloss stains. I did not like the formula whatsoever. Also for their matte lipsticks, I didn't like the formula either. But I like the bronzer. I'm currently wearing it today all around. This one blends out really beautifully. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite products aside from her eyeshadows and blushes that I like. For lip products, I'm not a fan of them whatsoever. Uh, face products, I think she does really well. I mean, it's a good brand, but a lot of the stuff is almost like underwhelming now. I think people just maybe got a bad taste in their mouth because all the lip products she sent out and all that, they weren't really that great. I mean, the lipsticks were probably like the best thing, but even those were like whatever, so yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, okay, so now on to skincare. So, Origins sent me this package and I honestly don't really use a lot of Origins at all. I think the last thing I ever used was a sample I wanted to try from Sephora and I redeemed it for like 100 points and it was the Nitamins. Um, so it's like a night uh, lotion or a night treatment and there's like a lot of vitamins in it. That's why I call it Nitamins. And that product I absolutely loved. I used a sample, did I go buy the full size? No, would I buy the full size? Yeah, I would, I definitely would. I just haven't just because I have other skincare products available, but they happened to send me a package. Um, so I was really excited. And the reason why I was super excited is because this is the Zero Oil, and this is the Deep Pore Cleanser with Saw, Palmetto, and Mint. Now, when I read mint, I get a little bit sensitive with mint. Like, if it's too minty, it's not like I'm not the biggest fan of it because sometimes mint products can have, like, this lingering smell. But this one actually is really nice and refreshing. This is a great product if you have oily skin. So this is what I've been using all month. I have been complaining about my skin being just so oily. After using this in combination with the toner, you just put a little and then just wipe away. It did send me a Pure Zero Oil Moisturizer. I haven't used it just because I have usual moisturizers that I have already currently been, been using, but um, I'll eventually get to it. But these two products right here, bomb. I have actually seen results within these last couple weeks of my oil subsiding. Like I said, I was complaining a ton. I was like, dude, like everything is making me so oily. I'm like always just grease ball, like out of nowhere. Well, ever since summer came, my skin completely changed and I had to switch up my whole skincare regimen. But this Boom, so good. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoy my July favorites. Let me know down below if any of my products that I maybe chose for the month were some of your favorite products or how you feel about certain ones. I would love to know your opinion down below. I hope you guys had a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to subscribe because it is free. 99. I'd really appreciate it. Also, check out my vlog channel because I have been posting quite frequently. I am back on the vlogging game. And yeah, and I'm currently, when you watch this, I am in New York. So yeah, I'll definitely be vlogging that trip as well. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah! Woo